Harry Shelton slots into the wing in place of Daniel Shalloway and Alan Pulido, a late scratch, nursing a quad injury. Bartlow, Escobar, and Brad Smith come into a back four with teenage Hadebe, Coco Carasquilla, and Ibrahim Aliou. Tonight's referee, Chris Penzo, gets us underway at Children's Mercy Park. It is Sporting Kansas City in the all blue, moving from right to left on your screens. Houston are his favorite target in MLS. Dembe catapulted into it. Eric Tommy! And what a save that is. It's spilled at the six. As a video assistant referee, Chris Penso, 228 games. So they'll take the time to get it right. And that hits his hand. Now the question is, is there a clear and obvious error? And this is going to go to He's video review. Monitor. We'll get the benefit of a few more looks. Again, the video assistant referee tonight. So this is the, the point of contact as it hits the hand. And now it's up to referee Chris Penso to decide, was that an unnatural position? Did it create a barrier? This is, this is going to be a, a judgment call. Well, they didn't need too long a look. It is a penalty. And a must-win game for Sporting Kansas City. Russell to give them the perfect start. And Johnny Russell makes no mistake. It's the perfect opening to a big match for Sporting Kansas City on home soil against Houston. A referee, Chris, Chris Penso, calls it a penalty. And Johnny Russell, good disguise. That little glance before, he just picks his head up to see where Steve Clark is. Judges. Oh, Brad Smith read the intention. Shelton wins the foot race. Shelton against Teenage Adebe. Still in possessions for Sporting! A chance to double the lead, and Agata skies it over the crossbar. This is tremendous work from Shelton to stay with it. Adebe gets the tackle spot on, but then Shelton honest stays up, even though Adebe is making it. Sporting Kansas City's five headed goals this season, all from set pieces. He delivers near post. And no trouble for Caicedo. And off the crossbar. Clark appeared to be beaten. Eric Tommy denied by the woodwork. Watch the patience in which Tommy chests this down. He waits for it to sit where he wants, and then bang! That's about technique. It's actually not even about the power that he puts on it. You're going to naturally get that with the strength that you have in your leg. So a prolonged spell of possession this time for Houston, and looking promising as Caicedo on the approach. Caicedo! And he rattles the woodwork. We need to go down and check and see if that post is still in one piece. Caicedo smashes this. And it's always trailing away from Timelia. This is when Houston at their best. Look at how they're pressing and forcing Sporting Kansas City back. Now they've got to make sure to get an option. Rodoya cannot lose possession here. Alkinda. Good pulls down by Escobar. And Kinda's won it back. Luis Caicedo is tripped up. So took his time at the monitor. Wanted to make sure to get it exactly right. We get this other look. A little narrow in attack, Sporting Kansas City, so possessions reset all the way back to the defenders. Rodoya, looking for Shelton over the top, it's a wonderful delivery, Shelton on his right! And he's denied by Clark. This is a tremendous ball from Rodoya, but Kyrie Shelton picked out and set it to Herrera, pulling the strings. Combining with Aliu as Herrera into the 18. Means for something to develop, and there's Melia to deny the captain. So watch the patience from Edetta. He gets to a zero to bite. Eric Tommy. Laying it off for Gotti Kinda. Shelton out wide. Smith out to meet him. Driven in. Tommy is denied by Barlow. Loose on a doorstep. And Willie Agata slams it in. Sporting Kansas City around the top of the 18. Just waiting for the moment it opens up. And Eric Tommy makes this run across the face of goal, across Escobar. And it fortuitously falls off of Barlow right into the path of Willie Agata. And on a night when you need things to go your way, filling in for Alan Polito as a late scratch, Willie Agata off the bench into the lineup and deep into stoppage time in the first half. Down a man. In the right place at the right time. 
Roberts floated in to the heart of the area. Barlow, the intended target, falls for him. It's on the other side of the crossbar. And Teenage Hadebe has pulled one back. First goal of the season cuts the deficit in half. And Houston are back in business. A massive shift as the pendulum swings. And it's advantageous. It's innovative. And it's ever so important as Teenage Adebe does a wonderful job as his hits off of Eden Bartolo. Doesn't know much about it. They clamber into each other. This is Eric Tommy. Oh, he's done really well to find Davis. He switches on for Kinda instead. It's Tommy into the 18. Tommy! Oh, it deserved the finish. Such a good combination play. Keep it on Steve Clark. I think he may get a touch on this. And you know what? He does. Rosero, it's a clever ball wide to Dembe, who's managed to stay onside as the flag stayed down. Shallowy with his back to goal. Puts the ball to sleep. What a big moment. Shallowy does a good job of cutting in front of Maciel. Never takes a look. And it's Caicedo who gets there ahead of Shallowy. Dorsey. Bartlow's running in behind the center back, leading the attack. Corey Barrett into the 18. He's denied by Emilia. Corey Barrett has been in stellar form. Four goals in his last six matches. Drives it into the 18. Escobar at the back post, and of course, Rosero wins it, as he has virtually every time. And that will do it. Sporting Kansas City bounce back from their midweek defeat.